Hey guys, Brian here, and today I'll be doing some um, technology news, just you know, just discuss and stuff. So discussing some news for technology. Um, so I have a number of websites here that I'm looking at. I'm looking at theverge.com/tech and technewsworld.com, TechCrunch, CNN News for Technology, and BBC News for Technology. So I decided to do this new series where you know if you see me play a game in the background while I speak about technology news here. So okay, let's start with the first piece of news. So tech's new school mini PC comes with a back strap. Wow, that's pretty you know ridiculous. I mean, imagine just having like a backpack with like a like a computer. Like your your computer is your backpack. That's pretty crazy, don't you think? Like. Well, um, I'll show the specs up in the, on the screen somewhere. They all... Wow, it's actually a pretty good PC. Intel Core i7 processor, GeForce GTX 1070 graphics card, removable battery, 2.5 inch HDD or SDD bay, 1 HDMI output. Wow, that's actually pretty dope. Mm. Oh, it's actually a VR ready PC, meaning you'll be able to play VR on the go. I wonder how... Where's, where's the power gonna come from? So, oh well, anyways, on to the next set of news. I was, I'm looking for that Zotex new VR Go Mini PC. I also heard that there will be a, a new PlayStation, two new PlayStations. Alright, um, and the right, next piece of news is Man Hex Alexa. news will be from TechCrunch. TechCrunch has a lot of news. For example, one we just, just released a minute ago, Facebook Messenger is testing instant games from de developers like King. So King is actually, has actually made Candy Crush the game, if you don't know. So well, okay, so they're testing instant games. I'll show you a picture over here on the screen as well. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So I'm assuming you can instantly play games with your friends or something like that. Oh, okay. So it's like a you play the game. It's like a chat game, something like that. Oh, and there's like basketball games. So Facebook built its own prototype messenger games this, earlier this year, which became wildly popular. I'll show you a picture of it right here as well. Okay, on to some local news. Just looking at some local news, for example, hmm, it's not much actually. Well, Google has, I, I, know, I think everyone knows Google has a new phone called the Pixel phone. It also has the Google, the new Google Assistant on it, and a new Android 7.1. Oh yeah, and there's also the Apple MacBook that just came out uh, last week. And apparently, Google changed. Uh, Google's capital, like Google's main company, changed its name. Yeah, to um, Capital G. Sorry, I, I did a bit of editing there because well, I didn't want to remove the whole section out. Alright, so Google changed its main company's name to Capital G. Let me just let me just put a picture of it right now, and I'll link you guys the document below. Anyways, um, for uh, furthermore, let's look at that. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. For example, there's the new. There's a lot of new stuff actually. There's new. Fa there's new. There's people who think who think Facebook is actually building a phone, which is called mm, building. Okay, which the company is called Building Eight, and. You know, it's pretty cool if, actually, if Facebook actually comes up with a phone. But then again, you know, you won't really know much until you, you know they announce it. But yeah, Facebook's actually, you know, might be coming up with a phone. I'll show you a picture right here. 
Alright. And well, Google and Blizzard teams up to to StarCraft made for AIs, meaning, meaning compute like computers. So computers will actually like be able to play the game. It's actually pretty cool. So the AIs will actually understand the complex and the game itself. Which is, you know, pretty cool because that's, that's some next level, you know, stuff right there. And yeah, the PlayStation VR came out. There's a lot of new stuff for it. Also, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is also a really cool game. Oops. I don't know if you heard that. But the PlayStation VR is actually really one of the best VR VR, you know, computers out there. Looking forward to getting it like, myself. And yeah, looking forward to get, get it myself. Okay, we're gonna go to local uh, go to some local news. So Team Faceless is Singapore's eSport team and they plan to, you know, just get 3 million from a Dota 2 tournament. So I'm cheering them on. There's Team Spaces Captain Daryl Ice Ice, Ice Cole. You know who that is. If you don't play Dota, then he's one of the best Dota 2 players in Singapore. And well, there's a lot of new stuff. Really, yeah, look, there's. They're being sponsored by a number of companies, and well, gaming is coming out as one of the top things in Singapore as well, so. Yep. Also, there's a lot of different stuff. For example, startups are. You know, there's on techcrunch.com, which I'll show you a, a logo. There's like a lot of new stuff for them, so they have like. There's different companies for different startups they track. For example, Intel Alloy VR. Intel's going for a VR system. And, well, the Power Beats 3 bringing some nice upgrades for iPhone owners and Apple Apple you know provides a softer lending for buyers with deep discounts and referral and dongles. And there's a lot of new stuff. Also the US elections are coming in about five days or four days. So looking forward to that. And also if you guys didn't know Telsa recent Elon Musk tells us um, CEO uh, unveiled the new Telsa solar, new solar roof panels. I'm actually looking forward to that. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Like, I think it's really pretty cool having like solar panels disguised as your roof. Although it's like a bit, it sounds a bit dodgy at times, but I think it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys a picture over here right now. And well, I think sometimes with technology, sometimes, sometimes soon in the future when technology takes over, you can expect of things. Expect a, expect a lot of things to happen like this, you know. Next time there might even be, you know, next time in the future there might even be flying cars, or, you know, stuff like that. And there's a lot of new things, yeah. There's a lot of new things. Instagram wants to integrate a shopping experience into an app, which is pretty cool, but hmm, you know, might just ruin what Instagram stands for. Um. And Lazada, which is one of the Singapore, is, which is one of the company the companies for online shopping, took a one billion investment from Alibaba, which is also an internet shopping website, earlier this year, and is spending thirty to forty million to buy Singapore-based Red Mart, an online grocery startup. So that's pretty cool. Um, my thoughts on it? I think it's um I think it's actually a little overkill if they just buy companies you know there's a lot of there's a lot of um, competition now a lot of companies buying companies for example Google just bought a new a VR company in the past few days I'm not sure what it's called but I'll try to, I'll try to post a picture right here so yeah I'll remind myself and there's a lot of new emojis coming up for the iOS 10.2 including an astronaut, a cross sign, and some redesigns for some uh, emoticons. And Amazon is also planning to expand in the first quarter of 2017 into Singapore, so I'm really looking forward to that because so far we haven't been able to buy anything from Amazon. Our least Singaporeans are not really 
you can't really buy f anything from Singap from Amazon because most of Amazon's stuff ship on US freighters, so that means that you you have to clear a really long um, customs checking um, procedure before the the product actually can come into Singapore. So looking forward to that. And also, LinkedIn has launched a new portal called Salary. Okay, which acts as a tracker to collect and analyze salaries globally. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So, um, it will analyze the salaries for different types of jobs. You can check out more over here. I'll link. I'll link you the logo and I'll put an annotation so you can click on it. And well, that's, that, that's a lot of stuff. And also, Samsung has. You know, Samsung has also um, it's actually pretty depressing because of the new Note 7 exploding here and there. And well, Samsung saying Samsung issued a public statement saying that they won't quit after the exploding phone debacle, deba and the company is focused on the new Galaxy X S8, and it's already promising discount to loyal users. So the S8 headset handset will have a new design, a better camera. An enhanced artificial intelligence service, so something like Google Assistant or Siri on the iPhone or the Android, aka Google Pixel. Um, I'll link you a picture of the new Galaxy S8 uh, over here. Okay, um, other than that, Facebook has a new trending system, so it's like Twitter and it picks up trends and you know, just shows it to the public. Okay, and well, other than that, I think that's about it. Hmm, that's about it. Yep, so let me just look around a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, I think that's about it. I'm really looking forward to the new Amazon, um, Amazon's presence in Asia, and also looking forward to the, to the Galaxy S8 and also the the new LinkedIn portal salary. Also looking forward to you know Instagram. Although they may be updating their app with like the shopping experience, but shopping shopping section. But well, I'm looking forward to it as well. And also the GoPro Karma uh, has just released not long ago. Also really looking forward to that. Although I probably won't be able to get my hands on. But well, looking forward to a lot of stuff. Looking forward. I'm cheering on for the Singapore team, Team Faceless, the new hot faces of Singapore esports, and also the play PlayStation VR and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So I think that's probably about it. I'll look around a little bit more or you enjoy my Minecraft gameplay. So if you want to play on the Minecraft server, I'll put a link in I'll put the IP in the description below. And also it's probably going to be on the screen somewhere on the top left, on the top right. I think I'll put it on the top bottom left of the top right. Top right. Yeah, so no no top left. Alright, um without further ado, I think that's about it. And this is a new series I'll be starting, so I'll be putting these videos on every Saturday. Meaning every Saturday I'll do something like this, like tech discuss. So basically you can discuss about tech and I'll give you my opinions. So good luck. And have fun. <laughs>